Jake here for American Trucks, and today I'm taking a look at the MBRP XP Series Dual Rear Exit Exhaust System with polished tips for 2019 and newer 5.7 liter Ram 1500s. If you're in search of an exhaust that has equal amounts of sound and style for an affordable price, then this system from MBRP is gonna be just what you're looking for. It combines a great noise with a cool look at a price that you really can't argue with. Now we all love a good exhaust system, especially when it's attached to a big V8 like the Hemi, but spending a fortune on an exhaust just isn't necessarily in the cards all the time. And going with a less expensive option sometimes runs the risk of getting less than desirable results. And that's where this system from MBRP comes in. It provides you with a cool aesthetic, great sound, and tolerable volume all for an affordable price making for an awesome upgrade to your daily driven RAM. Now this is a full cap back system, and as you can see, there's a lot of piping up here on this table. Now this means that it is gonna retain your factory catalytic converters, but it is gonna do away with all the factory resonators and muffler. And since this is MBRP's race profile too, all that means that you're gonna get a lot more noise as compared to your stock setup. We're gonna give this one a four out of five on the loudness meter. It's not necessarily gonna rattle the windows, but don't blame me if it wakes up your neighbors. Now again, since this is the race profile, it has a lot of volume. It's a little bit more mellow than you might expect at idle and just off the line, but once you really start getting into it, there is no mistaking that you've got a Hemi under the hood. It's gonna give a loud bark and you even get some pops and crackles on the overrun. Now inside of the cabin too, there is predictably more volume than stock. Though it is louder inside, you can tell that this is a performance-oriented exhaust on the truck, but it's not deafening by any means. Now, if you like that additional volume, you're probably gonna be a fan of this one. Now, to keep unwanted noises at bay, you've got this high-flow chambered muffler. Now, this is gonna help clean up the exhaust note quite a bit, making for less unwanted frequencies getting through while still preserving that characteristic Hemi sound. It's charismatic without being obnoxious, and you're not gonna get much drone thanks to that muffler but you're still gonna be able to hold a conversation or listen to music while you drive. About the only drone you may get, in fact, is when the truck's cylinder deactivation system comes on, though that is par for the course for most of these types of systems on newer trucks. But a simple button sequence can deactivate that system while you drive, and then you can just enjoy the smile that this is gonna invariably put on your face. Now, construction here is all two and a half inch mantral bent T409 grade stainless seal. So that on its own is gonna provide you with excellent exhaust flow and some good protection against rust and corrosion, though not necessarily as much protection as a system that's made fully from T304 stainless, but you're not paying the T304 price. And of course, you also get four and a half inch polished angle cut dual wall T304 stainless exhaust tips with that stamped MBRP logo to cap the whole thing off. And since this system exits in the same place as your factory exhaust, it's a nice, subtle looking type of upgrade. Pricing here will come in at about $650, and that does put it toward the lower end of the category as far as price goes. However, low price doesn't mean that you're sacrificing here. You're still getting solid construction and a great sound, it just happens to be much more agreeable to your wallet. Now, installation will get a two out of three on our difficulty meter, and it should take you about two hours to complete. Now, this is a bolt-in system that is designed to utilize all of your factory exhaust hanger locations, so there's no modification needed to your truck. However, depending on your cab and bed size, you may need to make a cut to this extension pipe. However, it is only one cut, and MBRP does provide you with a measurement guide so you know exactly how much you need to cut to fit your bed and cab size. Once you've got that done, you can just bolt this right up using all the provided clamps and enjoy that sound. And to show you the process now, let's head over to the install bay. Tools used for this install include an impact gun, a 13, 15, and 16 millimeter socket, an exhaust hanger removal tool, a tape measure, permanent marker, and some soapy water or some penetrating lubricant. Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install this MBRP exhaust on our 2019 Ram here. Now you might notice a couple of things right off the bat. First, our Ram is already up in the air, so if you haven't done that to your truck, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do that first. Also, we've gone ahead and taken our exhaust most of the way off here. So we're gonna show you a clip of how to install the majority of your exhaust. There is one additional step that isn't required for every exhaust, but it is required for this one in particular. So once you've taken a look at that uninstall clip, we're gonna come back, show you that last additional step, and then we'll get into the install itself. First step here, we're gonna grab our hanger removal tool and pop the hanger off right above our resonator on our passenger side tailpipe. The driver side tailpipe is one piece all the way back to the muffler inlet, so we're gonna attack that later. So for right now, we're gonna do this, and I've lubricated it with WD-40, that makes life a little bit easier. All 
All right, next up, grab your ratchet and your 15 millimeter deep socket, and we're gonna loosen up the clamp holding the tailpipe to the rest of the exhaust assembly. All right, hanger's out of position, clamp is loosened up, let's get this exhaust pipe off. All right, so at this point, we're gonna focus on our driver's side tailpipe. Now, like I said, it's all one piece. I have a pole jack here right behind the resonator just to give it some support once we start disconnecting things. I am gonna remove this tip, however. Removing this tip gives you another foot, maybe foot and a few inches of extra space that you don't have to worry about feeding out of the frame. So we're gonna take this guy off with a 13 millimeter socket. Next, we can pop the hanger out of the isolator using our hanger removal tool right above that resonator. All right, so now we can disconnect the hangers right above the muffler outlet. There's one on each side. Grab your hanger removal tool and get these guys off. Now, as you can see, I have a pole jack here supporting this as well. So we have two different points of support for this exhaust. Now for this one, it's tough to get the hanger removal tool in here, so I'm gonna use my pry bar to get this guy off. All right, so next up, we're gonna focus on this flange here. Now you could bypass this and go straight back to the cat, but that's a lot of exhaust to take off in one piece, so I'm gonna separate it here. Now once we have this taken care of, there is one more hanger to remove. But for now, grab your 16 millimeter socket and disconnect these two bolts. All right, now when you pop this guy out of the hanger isolator, this is all gonna come loose, so you wanna be prepared for that. Before we do so, there's a ground strap here. I'm just gonna disconnect that from the factory tubing. All right, so that way it dangles here and we can reconnect it to our new exhaust later. So now we can grab our hanger removal tool and pop that guy off. All right, now you can take this exhaust off. All right, so there is, like I mentioned earlier, one additional step to taking this exhaust off that was not shown in that clip earlier. This is not required for every exhaust, but it is required for this one, and that's to take off this extension pipe here that starts at the collector. So there are just two 15 millimeter nuts that we're gonna undo. We're gonna save those because we are gonna reuse those nuts. These are studded on the other side, so all you need is a 15 millimeter socket to take these guys off. Get that one loose, and then there's one more up here. Let's just slide that off and put it out of the way. Like I said, we are gonna reuse these nuts. There are two of them. So if you wanna just put them right there for right now, just for safekeeping, we're gonna come back and use those in our next step. And with that, now we can start the install process. So our first step to installing this exhaust is going to be to make a cut to this extension pipe. Now, not every truck is gonna need this cut. Ours, however, because it is a crew cab with the five foot seven inch bed, does need a little bit of this cut out. So there is a handy guide included in the box of the exhaust so you can know which one is gonna need it or not. So again, ours is gonna need it. Now, this entire pipe is 39.75 inches long. We need it to be 30.75, so we're gonna have to cut nine inches out of this. So I'm gonna take my tape measure here, measure out nine inches, and take my Sharpie, and mark that right here. 
on the other side. I'm gonna mark this a couple of times so that I can get a nice clean cut and make sure that I got this nice and even. Again, same thing over here. It's good to just check your measurements, make sure everything is right so you can make that cut. Now we're gonna go over to our saw and we're gonna get this cut to size and then we'll go ahead and get it put on the truck. Now we're ready to make our cut. You can use any type of cutting implement you want. I'm gonna use our circular saw here. So again, just make sure everything is where you need it to be and then you can just go ahead and make your nice even cut. All right, now we'll go ahead and grind this down. Just make sure this is nice and even. Now you can do this with whatever, with whatever you have at home. I'm gonna use our grinding wheel here. All right, once you're happy with that, we're ready to go ahead and get this put on the truck. All right, now we're just about ready to put our extension pipe onto the truck. First things first though, we gotta get this flange on here. Now this does have a beveled edge on it and that is gonna meet up to this side of the extension pipe. So just go ahead and get that slid on there. So it sits real nice like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this back onto the truck where the old one came off. And again, we're gonna reuse the old nuts that came off of the old one. You can try and get this as even as possible. We're not gonna tighten this all the way down just yet because we wanna leave some room for adjustment for the rest of the system when we do that. But I'm gonna get this tight enough so it's not gonna move when we start putting the rest of the system together. Right about there should be good for right now. So now that we've got that on, we'll go ahead and start assembling the rest of the system. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put this pipe on. This is the small one that has the hanger on it. So this is gonna go onto the exhaust hanger on the frame of the truck, kind of in the center here. So we're gonna take one of our three inch exhaust clamps. You only have two of these, so it'll be easy to find. I'm gonna just slide this on here, get this set on the extension pipe. And I'm gonna kind of finagle this around and get that hanger set onto the rubber mount on our stock hanger. Again, this is a good, good idea to lubricate this if you haven't before. Once we have this kind of in place where we want it, we'll go ahead and tighten this clamp down. Now this is also just a 15 millimeter nut on here. So we give that a second to hang. We'll tighten this so it doesn't move. Not too tight. We'll come back and get all these where they need to be later. Now that I've got this sort of where I want it, I can go ahead and tighten these down a little bit more as well. Again, just so they don't move. Now that it's got some additional weight on it. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and put on our muffler. All right, next we're gonna be installing our muffler. So again, I'm gonna take that other three inch clamp, put it on the muffler itself. Let's get that kind of slid on there. We're gonna go ahead and put this into position. and work that on until it seats. The outlets on the back of the muffler should be horizontal, not up and down. So they should be running parallel with the truck. Once we've got that where we need it to be, go ahead and tighten this guy down. You don't have to get that tightened all the way. Again, we wanna leave some room for adjustments. But getting that tightened so it's not gonna move is important. Next, we'll start with our over axle pipes. I'm gonna start with our passenger side over axle pipe. So taking this one right here with the hanger on it, this end is gonna go into the muffler. We're taking one of our two and a half inch clamps. These should be the only ones that are left now. We're gonna go ahead and put this onto the passenger side of the muffler. We'll just kind of fill it up over here. Slide this in. Get our clamp in place and then we'll do up the hanger here. So again, we're just getting this into the back of the muffler. We're gonna leave that clamp undone for the time being because we're gonna wanna get our hanger done up here. So again, if you haven't lubricated these before you do it, definitely a good idea to do so. Just gonna wiggle this guy through here, just like that. Kinda get it seated in the crook right there. And make sure this is set up. That's gonna go over top of this frame rail in the back. Looks like we should have just about the right clearance. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this down so it doesn't move. Again, not tightening this all the way because we wanna leave a little bit of room for adjustment, but just enough so that this isn't gonna move unless I put pressure on it. All right, now we'll go ahead and do the next pipe on this side and finish this side up. 
All right, now we're gonna go and do the last bit of piping on the passenger side of the truck. Before I get that pipe on though, clearances are a little tight here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this rubber mount here off of the truck itself. And we're gonna slide this onto the actual pipe that we're installing because it's gonna be easier to get it on that way. So I'll take my pipe here, just slide this onto the hanger here. Then I'm gonna take one of my two and a half inch clamps here. I'm gonna slide it on and we're gonna feed this up over the frame of the truck. It's gonna meet up with that pipe that we just installed. And that should just slide nicely into place. And then we we'll just slide our hanger back on here. Just working that on into position. And once that's there, we'll go ahead and tighten that clamp up and make sure everything is lined up. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead, again, taking our 15 millimeter socket right on this clamp here. Get that slid into place. Get that tightened down. Now, again, you don't have to go all the way with this, but I'm pretty happy with where this alignment is, so I'm gonna tighten that pretty far down. We'll come back and adjust it later if we need to. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get the driver side over axle pipe set up. Now we're gonna do the driver side over axle pipe. So again, just like before, taking one of the two and a half inch clamps, I'm gonna slide that on here up by the exhaust hanger, and then I'm gonna go onto the driver side outlet of that muffler. It's gonna come up kind of over here and meet up with the other side of the bed. All right, so I'm just gonna feed this up here over the differential. That seated into the back of the muffler and we'll slide that clamp sort of into place. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do up this exhaust hanger here. This, uh, like the rest of them, might take a little bit of finessing. Now you might notice, especially with this pipe, if you're doing it in the same order that I am, that getting the hanger onto this actual mount on the body of the truck is a little bit difficult. So what I'm gonna do is what I just did with that other end pipe there is I'm gonna pull this rubber mount off of here just like that. And then I'll go ahead and slide it onto the pipe for the exhaust. Get that where it needs to be. And it's actually much easier to just slide it back onto this mount where it needs to go. And that's basically in its final position. So once we've got that there, we'll slide our clamp down and we'll tighten that up. Again, just like the other ones, we're going to take our 15 millimeter socket and just tighten this guy down. Now I want to get some nice tension on that one just like before, because I'm pretty happy with the alignment for it right now. If we need to come back and adjust this later, we will, and we will go back and make sure everything is tight at the end. Now we've got our last piece of piping here. Again, same deal, our last two and a half inch clamp. It's going to slide on just like all the rest of them. And we're going to feed this on to that pipe we just installed. Get that seated nice. And then this one should just be able to slide in right here. All right. And just kind of check the alignment of that. That looks pretty good to me. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten that clamp up up there. And we'll go ahead and put our tips on. All right, and we'll go ahead and tighten this clamp up. Again, get that so it doesn't move. Now is a good time also to check the clearances down here. Give this guy a good shake. Make sure it's not banging or hitting on the frame or pinching any kind of lines or anything down here. We're looking good so far. So we can go ahead now and get our tips put on. All right, now we get to the fun part, which is installing the exhaust tips. Now these are nice because they've got, A, the bolt already on it, so there's no extra clamp or anything. And that also means you can adjust them. So I'm gonna slide these on give you an idea. So if you want these to be nice and flush with the bumper, sort of like your stock system, makes it for a bit of a more subtle look, you can do that. However, I like them to poke out just a little bit. So I'm gonna adjust it just like that. Give myself about an inch and a half or so on there. Once, you got it, once you've got it kind of where you want it, we're gonna go ahead and take our square bit. Now this is an eight millimeter square bit on my ratchet here. I'm just gonna tighten that down. All right, once you're happy with where that is, we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so same deal over here. I'm gonna try and get this pretty much even with the other one. Give myself about an inch and a half. That looks pretty even to my eye. So we'll take our ratchet. Get 
that nice and tightened down. All right, once you're happy with the alignment of the tips, we're gonna go back through and just make sure we've got all of our clamps tightened up. All right, now that we've got everything basically where we want it to be, we're gonna go back and make sure we have all of our clamps tightened. So I'm gonna start up here with these two nuts on the flange. And we'll just work our way back. All right, and while you're down here too, just make sure everything is lined up where it needs to be and you don't have any clearance issues, nothing's shaking or hitting the frame. All right, once you're satisfied with that, job is done. And that's gonna wrap it up here for our review and install of the MBRP two and a half inch XP series dual exhaust system with polished tips and rear exit format, fitting 2019 and newer 5.7 liter Ram 1500s. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, for all things Ram, be sure to keep it right here at americantrucks.com.